Hello everybody, it's Payam here for Niche. In this video, we're gonna talk about one year fixed mortgages. Now, with the rates being up and down and nobody really knowing where things are gonna go, there are some people that require a one year fixed mortgage. In this particular scenario, I've concentrated on people that are self-employed, but necessarily it can be used for uh, employed people. Now, the video will explain this great new product great lender that will really look at the different ways self-employed uh, applicants can take advantage of underwriting because the way self-employment works is a little bit different you might be taking a salary plus dividends you might not be taking any salary you might not be taking any income out of the business but you want to use the net profits for example there may be different structures behind the scenes so it's a very useful insight into self-employed underwriting but also specifically talking about one year fixes and what the advantages of this type of products are. So I'll catch you on the video. Take care. Look at this article. Um, if you go on the homepage of our website, nicheadvice.co.uk, there's the article, one year fixed, and then we'll get into it. Let's just minimize this. Right. So the first thing, it's a one year fixed. Gives you flexibility. Nobody knows what's happening. You take the fine year, one year fix, but there are reasons why you take a one year fix with this specific lender. Um, first of all, and I, and I will run through that, but first of all, if you look at this uh, product here, minimum loan size is a half a million. So this is not for everybody, guys. This is for people that are doing well. Um, now, there's a couple of reasons why you would go for this product. One, you set up your business and you've absolutely smashed it in your first year. Some people do. I get lots of clients that have. You know, you could be set up a doctor's surgery. You could be a dentist. You could manufacturing. You could have done very, very well. So if you earn good money, you would want to buy a property, let's say, for 750, 800, and you want to get a loan of over 500,000 pounds. So that works. Where it also works is, let's say you set up a business, and for the first three years, you made no money, right? It wasn't great. You made 10,000 pounds, and then 15,000 pounds, and then 20,000 pounds, and then all of a sudden, you made 200,000 pounds, okay? It does happen, believe it or not. This lender will work off the latest year's figures, okay? So most high street banks, what they tend to do is they will work it from uh, the average of the last two years, the average of the last three years, and then there are some lenders that will go, we could look at it, but however, if there's a 25 increase, 25% you know, increase year on year, we will average it. So this lender is quite clear. We will work off the latest year's figures. So regardless of what you want, whether you set up one year's business or you want to go by the latest year's figures, as long as you follow those figures, that works well. So let's now have a look at some of the criteria involved. The lender is actually Kensington Mortgages. They're one of the UK's largest and well-established specialist lenders in the UK. They've actually just been bought out by Barclays as well. So that gives you a bit of uh, insight into them. Um, they've been around for a very, very long time. The, the problem is when you deal, and they've been dealing with specialists, whether it's adverse clients, whether it's self-employment clients for many years and more recently in, into buy to let, obviously. Um, assessed on latest year's figures, can use income retained in the business. So people that are not drawing their income. So if you're not taking a salary or dividends, and I've got a number of those clients for tax reasons, they don't, they choose not to take the money, they don't need the money, you can use that money still because they work off the net profits. So generally the way that works is you pay yourself a salary maybe, 12,000 pounds, 12,500 pounds, and you then use the net profit after tax. So whatever the corporation tax is, you pay that and then you're left with a net profit. So if you made 200,000 pounds, you paid yourself 12,000 pounds, you pay 20, 30,000, whatever it is, tax, and then the remainder you can use as your income. One year's trading, one year's fixed rate. Why would you go one year's fixed rate? Well, this is a non-high street rate, okay? So it's not gonna be a pretty product from a rate perspective. However, it gives you that flexibility if you have set up your business, if you, are, you have started making money, most of the high street, as I've mentioned, would want you to do an average of the last two years. If you can't make that work, you go there, you do your one year's accounts, you file another decent year, and then we'll move you to the high street that does want two years. So it's a stepping, stepping stone, and I think it's a great way people can, rather than saying, rather than me saying to you, oh, sorry, I need two years figures, go away and come back to me once you've filed your two years, I'll go, right, I can buy you it now. If you're committed to buying now, you, if you're renting, for example, you wanna buy now, we buy now, we stick you on this product, and then in a year's time, once you've filed your second year's account, and they look good, 
we can flip it into a high street product. Minimum loan is half half a million. Multiple income streams considered. You know, they can take various types of income, buy to let income, um, you know, different business incomes, uh, different limited company incomes, sole trader income. So uh, it is quite good on that perspective. Uh, minimum deposit, 15% deposit, guys, up to two and a half million. So, you know, you're going to need a decent deposit. Uh, minimum deposit up to two million. Uh, mortgage 20%. So, you know, it's for the high net worth individuals. Interest only up to 75% loan to value. Now, there is an argument. I'm not a big fan of interest only. Right? I have to say, I'm not on residential mortgages. But there is an argument if we've got a clear strategy to say, look, there's no point doing a repayment on such a high rate. I need to just get it affordable. When I flip it into a more conventional high street lender, I'll stick it on a uh, repayment. So for the first year, stick it on a re interest only for now, Piam. We can work on that. Credit problems after three years ago. So if it's three years and over, they will, they will consider CCJs and defaults. And there are a number of people that earn a lot of money, believe it or not, but have had some misfortune in the past. So this works quite well. Lender is part of Barclays Group, as I've mentioned. Now, I've run some affordability on this, and I will leave the link to this article uh, on, in the below descri description. So to give you an idea around the income side of things. So £150,000 income. Uh, I've given you the sort of affordabilities based on 25-year and a 35-year. 175000 combined income, 200, 250, 300. So you get the idea here. Right, husband and wives are based it on income 50 50 between the business. Income could be rate retained income, uh, buying in London, two dependent children. So, I've just done some very rough affordability so people can get an idea of it. I've also made it easy for you guys and I've run through the rates. So, as I mentioned to you, the rates are not pretty. So, if you look at the chart here, you know, you've got 75 percent loan to value 6.14, then you've got 80 percent loan to value 6.54. And then you've got 85% 704. So you've got to put this in context. We're not going to be there long term. Although it is a 25-year mortgage or 35-year mortgage, the plan should be this is a projection on a business that's doing well for itself. Whether it's had hard times or whether it's been in, in, incorporated recently. You make your money and then hopefully we stick you on there, you buy the property, you prove the concept, and then we move you off to a different lender. And all the various fees and um, deposit amounts and valuation fees are there, lenders fees, cashback, there's nothing in there, name of the lender, I don't hide the lenders, you see, it's there, and all the information around that, uh, there's an early repayment charge after the first one, so during the first one year, sorry, after that first year of fixed, there is no early repayment charge, like I said, we can move that across, the lending fee is not so bad as well, you know, they're not really stiffing you on the lending fee too much, so it is good. It is a specialist lender. It's not going to be right for everybody. But the concept, okay, the concept of net profit using different, that's available to different types of product. You don't have to buy a half a million pound, you know, loan. You don't have to get a half a million pound. There are multiple lenders out there that will treat from an underwriting perspective uh, that on that side. So, you know, your net profits uh, going, giving you enhanced income multiples often. Um, generally, the rule is you to go to a non-high street bank. You generally need 15% deposit, I would say, comfortably to make it work. But the where it's different with this product, it actually gives you a one-year fixed term. Where a lot of those other products, they give you a two-year or more a five-year uh, because of affordability. So it's not going to be right for everybody. You do need advice. Thankfully, Kensington mortgages are only available through brokers. Most brokers have got access to this lender. Uh, and, uh, you know, like I said, um, it, is, it is a well-established lender now being bought out by Barclays. So uh, that gives you a little bit of confidence around that. Let me know what you think. Let me know about if you're self-employed, um, you know, I know. I'm self-employed. I know how self-employed people work. You know, it doesn't just work. They've all got various income structures. They, they almost know you might have had a bad year. You might have paid for some machinery. You might have paid for a car. You may have spent money on a warehouse. And that reflects on your account because one year you might have not done as well. Well, these type of specialist lenders, they can take a view on this rather than saying, computer says no, they will look at a holistic view of your business and go, right, okay, there was a dip here, what happened? Oh, hang on, there's been an increase, what's happened? So, very useful, take this uh, product out there, but if you are not looking to go, you know, that high loan of half a million, there are products that are similar to this, probably not on a uh, one-year fix, probably on a two-year fix, 
but it can still work for you and it can be a stepping stone for you to get onto the high street later on. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.